Are you taping? Okay, now it's eight to 12 hours after you mixed your sourdough pre-ferment. Now it's time to mix your dough. Are you ready? You ready? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here's your sourdough pre-ferment. Let's zoom in on that. You see how there's some, some bubbles, right? And it looks like something's going on in there. Oh, something's going on in there, all right. <laughs> your wild yeast and bacteria have done their thing. And so now you're gonna mix your dough. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add water, flour, and this time, salt. Okay. This is fresh milled whole wheat flour. You could use bread flour if you want, or you could use a combination. And last but not least, salt. Don't forget the salt. I repeat, don't forget the salt. I repeat, don't forget the salt. <laughs> and now we're gonna mix it together. And now I'm gonna use this spatula because I don't wanna get my hand all doughy, but I highly recommend you using your hand for this process. And I will probably use mine in just a minute. And all you're looking to do is to get all the flour incorporated. That is all that needs to happen at this point. Just don't want any dry bits of flour. I'm gonna put in just a little bit more flour. And once you're done with this step, you're gonna cover it up and let it sit for a half hour to an hour. And then you're gonna do something very special, which I cannot wait to show you. Okay. And you might be saying, whoa, that looks really wet. That looks really wet. Are you sure that's right? I'm a professional, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it does look wet. And that's gonna mean that your finished loaf is very moist. So. Cover that up. We're going to leave it for a half hour. See you then.